What's going on, everybody? It's BC9 for XYZ here, and welcome back, everybody, to Siberia. Now, this might be the uh, the last video. I've got a very short part here now. So what I can do, actually, immediately, I just wanted to make sure it's saved first. But I uh, should be able to actually just free her now. Last young lady, I was beginning to be desperate. I came as fast as I could. Now hurry, get out of here quickly before that maniac notices. I've got to get Oscar's hands back. So she's a. Uh... That's going to. There's Oscar's hands. Okay, cool. Back to go. Now what? Oh! But, my god! What has happened now? Ha ha! Nice try, Miss Walker! <coughs> but you are not strong enough. Not for me. So you can stop playing games now. Return the hands to me. And bring Madame Romanski back, or I shall not be responsible for my actions. You don't scare me, you old lunatic. Helena, grab the hands and get back to the train. Tell Oscar to get ready to leave. I'm gonna find a way out of this lousy factory. Okay. No chance. We'll just see about that. I warned you, Kate Walker! Be careful, my child. You too. And don't worry. Okay, we're gonna try to go back through the mines, apparently? I don't need to do... Oh, shit. That was gone now. Can't do that. But this is open now. Let's just take a look and see what it looks like now. Yep, yeah, that's, that's definitely dead now. <laughs> Only one way up now. Why not get some dynamite while we're here? Oh, jeez. Hello? Kate, hi. It's me, Dan. Are you alright? I'm okay now, yeah, thanks. But uh, if I said that not long ago I was grappling with a mad music lover who wanted to kidnap an old forgotten opera star, but I foiled his plan and escaped through an abandoned mine, then I guess... it's completely mad. You'd be proud of me, Dan. Real proud. Kate, I don't understand a thing you're saying. I barely recognize you. No, it doesn't matter. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I went to dinner with the Goldbergs. I that was really not the time to be watch. talking the to your fiancé. Well, other than that, 
Nothing new. I see. Everything's cool, though? Yeah, yeah, everything's, uh, cool. You're not missing me at all? Oh, yeah, sure I am. I had Olivia on the phone. She was a little upset. Nothing to say? I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know what came over me. It happened so quickly. I just... I don't know, Dan. What happened? Maybe we've just realized we don't really love each other, Dan. We can talk about it when you get back, if you want. I don't know, Dan. We'll see. Oh, shit. Wait, what, 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 come on. go <laughs> he's super close what is it this time large iron rods have emerged from between the huge legs of the giant statue the truck but that's absolutely crazy will that madman never get off our case I'm gonna see what I can do Hell out of here. Message received. Full steam ahead. Okay, let's hope it works. train back up again. You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept <laughs> outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on. Quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice warm train. Get a life, Oscar. <laughs> See you around, Oscar. I'll be waiting for you, Kate Walker. So they've apparently become very good friends now, which is very interesting to talk about, but let's head back to the hotel. Sir. What can I do for you? 
Well, I'm gonna hit the road again. Or would it be too much to ask where you're going? Who can say? Well, I wish you the best of luck, Miss Walker. I'm leaving now, Mr. Felix. See you again, Miss Walker. So wait, actually... It says here to... So now I have to go talk to him about specifically two things. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. Uh, give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! Don't go yet! Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The okay. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate. You know something, Oscar? Despite... Why? Are you leaving us, Kate Walker? Yes. When I found Hans Varlberg, I'm going to have to go home to New York. That's your decision, Kate Walker? Oscar, I'm ready. Let's go. You're not going to fetch your parcel? Time is of the essence. I am of quite a contrary. And I'll find out what's in... Kate Walker! Re what are you suggesting? <laughs> okay, I'll go and get the See damn you package. Around. I'll be waiting. That's funny. <laughs> He's a good guy. That's so funny. Well, the funny thing is we have two sequels. So, obviously we see uh, Oscar once again. Mammoth Autumn is on. Another call? Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please, do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dinero. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old Greek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, well, drop the mumbo-jumbo. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. Hello, reception here. Felix Masana at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madame Romansky would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. Okay. I can do that. We're very close to the end, by the way. We've got like literally two parts left.
Madame Romansky? You wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Konkosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day, getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the <laughs> peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts and you are washed up and forgot. Madame Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. We've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Hans Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. <laughs> God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. Ah, uh, James. Faithful, faithful servant. All right. So now, something interesting is very interesting is about to happen. I don't need to do that. Good morning, sir. Mr. Varlberg? Hans Varlberg? You've brought the train, then. That's good. Mr. Varlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate... Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Varlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah. Okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. I guess you're right, Mr. Varlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker. Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Varlberg, I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilene. It's, a uh... My job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Varlberg, the factory <coughs> belongs to you now. And I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away. On the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Varlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... <laughs> that's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. 
I knew I could count on you, Kate. Even though he just I insulted us earlier. Thank you, sir. Right, now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? <laughs> that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. Real dumb. She's gonna lose the papers. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Varlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure is all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. <laughs> you don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... <sighs> it's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane. It's going to New York too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible. Maybe. See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg. the ending I would have written, but okay. Um, Alright, so that's it for uh, Siberia. Wow. Um, that was probably one of the best point-and-click games I've ever played. Um, it's got the whole third-person point-and-click idea that I love. Um, and yeah, so that's that. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one gameplay walkthrough. Take care, guys. Thank you so much.